Hello to our new band director. This is his second concert. Nick Castingway. Nick, come out and talk to us. Just just bow. You just have to bow. Oh, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Nick is the band director at Nicolay High School. No. Actually, Whitefish Bay High School. And we're glad to have him. It's a good start. We're having fun. The next piece, Irish tune from County Dare. Nick has brought some music to us. Some of it's a challenge. We'll hear it as we go on later. But this is a piece that uh, we've moved up in the program because it has a chance to hear, feature the baritones, and they wanted to be heard. So this is their chance to stand. Are you guys ready? Back, they're in the back row. Back with the big guys. It's an adaption of a folk tune, uh, Irish folk tune that was found in 1855 by a woman who, was collect, who collected folk tunes without a name. And Percy Granger, who was one who liked to arrange folk tunes, took it and arranged it and allows us to hear it played here. Here we are, Irish tune from County Dare with a baritone.
That really sounded good. You're, you're doing something with this group. Yeah, we're making some music. <laughs> Comes now the Olympic fanfare and theme, which was for the 1984 Olympics in Los Angeles, written by John Williams. We know John Williams from Hollywood Renown and the Boston Pops. But he had a challenge when he wrote this. First of all, they said they were going to use this theme every time they gave out medals at the ceremony and they were going to use herald trumpets for each of those times so he had a limited number of notes that he could use that the herald trumpets could play at least play in harmony and then secondly he was supposed to write this in chunks because abc said they wanted to use it in chunks before and after their ad and their breaks so therefore they had to have this in place to be able to use in that manner so with that John Williams put together the Olympic fanfare and theme. change of pace and uh, before going further with a change of pace another change of pace if you look on your program we have sponsors and we have sponsors for whom we are very thankful for this year uh, we have a budget that tripled in size so we are anxiously looking for help financially and you will see the sponsors listed and we ask you to give consideration to them as we go to, as you go down the list but they're on Silver Spring uh, mostly, and take a look, and we would appreciate if you'd follow up and uh, spend some time there and thank them for their contribution to the band when you're in there. Thank you very much. Now comes Let There Be Peace on Earth, Let It Begin With Me. This was written in 1955 by Jill Jackson Miller and Cy Miller. But there's a story that goes with it. Apparently in 1955, in the summer, there was a group of teenagers of all races and religions up in the mountains in California 
and the peace was brought to them and they gathered in a circle around the campfire and sang it and sang it so they enjoyed it so much that they brought it down from the mountain and spread it around the country and gradually around the world and now it has become one of the more popular more well played pieces in various situations uh, where it really is deserving to be played so here we go let there be peace on earth let it begin with me